Hey guys, Gary here from RV Living Life. I just want to show you an interesting video today about tilted or non-tilted. So right now you can see the Starlink is tilted and it's tilted up somewhat north and it's looking right up in the sky up there. Okay, and we seem to have more open sky above us, but it's looking over there. So I've recently discovered that um, there's a new thing in the app and it's called Tilt. Now, I don't know how long this has been a feature, but I've been toying around with it lately. And in Tilt, you can go flat. And uh, save that. And now the dish is flat. So my method of trying to experiment with this is open my compass, lay that on the dish. You can see the dish is a little wet because it's raining. Okay, and I can see that it's aimed approximately, I don't know, about 20 degrees, 18 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carry my dish over now to a more open area. I'm gonna go over here a bit. Okay, and out here, I'm again going to try and line it up to, which way do I got to go here? 18 degrees. Or so. Yeah, that's about where the other dish was pointing before. So I'm in a more open area here. I'm going to move my cones out so nobody runs my Starlink over. And I'm going to show you some testing I've been doing over the last few days. What I'm showing you here is how I did it. I'm showing you an example of the two different positions I had it in. So let's go inside and check it out. Hey guys, Gary here from RV Living Life. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and everyone give us a like. That really helps us out with YouTube. Today you're looking at um, a test that we did between running the Starlink flat or tilted. Tilted is a new option that I noticed in the app a little while ago and I've been experimenting with it. And I just wanted to see if it really makes a difference when you tilt it or run it flat. I believe running it flat is so people can just put one of the newer Starlinks that doesn't have the long shaft. They could just sit it on the roof of their RV and mount it and wherever location they go, the Starlink just sits flat and they get good Starlink. Um, in the app, you notice that it tells you that it's not really set for mobile with these kind of Starlink setups. You'd have to get the mobile version, but I know that some people are actually running it that way and I do see that on the internet. So what we're looking at here is a screen I made, uh, trying to get as much data into it as possible. You can see the left half of the screen is for when the Starlink is tilted, and the right half of the screen is for when the Starlink is flat. And also on the left side of the screen, you can see at the bottom that the Starlink is tilted, and you can see the rotation of the sky that it's looking at as it goes around. And on the right-hand side in the bottom, you can see the rotation with the Starlink that's flat. And one thing I noticed that when you switch from tilted to flat, the compass reverses. If you look at the northeast, southwest on the bottom left, and you look at it on the bottom right, they're opposite. And I also noticed that if I stand there and I tilt it, and then untilt it, and then tilt it again, it keeps reversing the compass. I don't know why it does that, but it's something I didn't expect, that's for sure. But you can tell by the view of the sky that the direction is correct. And another thing I noticed that uh, in the rotation, when you're looking at the obstructions here, that when it's flat, it doesn't show the sky as it's actually looking at it. It sh still shows it as tilted down, like as if it was looking at a tilted angle. I think that's something in the software they haven't got around to fixing yet. I'm sure that it's actually looking up instead of at that angle. Like it's looking up in the, the, um, the view that you're seeing should be above the Starlink instead of off to the side like the tilted one. But what I'm doing here anyway, is I'm running 18 tests on each one. And I ran these tests at 7 a.m. in the morning, two days in a row, with very similar weather. And uh, the reason I did it at 7 a.m. is this is a fairly crowded park. Uh, we're a little far from the nearest city, but in the evening, the Starlink is kind of slow. 
and at seven in the morning it's lightning fast. So I ran two tests in a row on a Tuesday and on a Wednesday and uh, so I could get similar results. And what I did was I averaged out all the tests to see what I actually came up with for the numbers. And the tilted side got an average of 105 megabits down, which is good if you're you know in the middle of nowhere and your cell phone doesn't work because where we are, we have no cell phone, uh, no satellite signal on the TV, uh, nothing. We only have Starlink here and we use uh, Wi-Fi calling on Starlink. So that works for us, but there's nothing here but Starlink. And then on the flat version, I, I did at an average of 18 tests, it came out with 100 megabits down. So it's 105 to 100. So Tilted still won by 5 megabits over 18 tests. And I'm a little surprised by that. I thought uh, if it was running flat, it would definitely be working better. But it seems that Tilted won out there by a very small about. It really seems like it didn't make much difference at all. I think if I was in an area where I had a large building beside me, or large trees, very tall trees with open sky above me. I think running it flat would work better than tilted because you would get more sky that way, in my mind anyway. But in this test here where I have reasonably open sky, it didn't make a lot of difference. It actually worked out better tilted than flat, which I'm surprised by, as I had mentioned. But anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe and take care everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye now.